Hey, what's up people? This sheep show and I'm born again. And I am at Calvary Chapel, Chino Hills. I'm documenting the comings and goings on here. I'm especially curious as to how this church will respond to public photography because Calvary Chapel has done such a horrible job uh, and been such a terrible witness not that I'm a good witness but they've been such a terrible witness and they've done such a horrible job not just one but several Calvary chapels in responding to public photography and it'll be interesting to see if uh, how they handle it <clears throat> that's one reason if you a furry potato had a uh, incident at a Calvary Chapel and fortunately for her the uh, law enforcement that responded handled it appropriately in my opinion they were unbiased they applied equal justice under law they didn't take sides they didn't play favoritism so kudos to uh, that officer that handled that call at that department on that day you go to Furry Potatoes channel, I think SGV has it, and who else is there? Was it Pedro, uh, Pedro Libre? Should I pronounce it like a white dude, like Pedro? Or should my half Mexican, should I say Pedro? I don't know how I should pronounce it. Pedro or Pedro? I'm not sure. But, um, another point of interest to me is that I really respect this church and I really respect this pastor Jack Hibbs if you're into end times prophecy or end times eschatology let me go around this is a church for you uh, pastor Hibbs is very knowledgeable on End times prophecy and I've actually been to this church before. I've actually attended this church before uh, with my wife. Pastor Hibbs was gone. He was out of town on a speaking engagement, so they had a they had a guest pastor here. But um, you know, the service it was all right. I was hoping to see. Pastor Hibbs preach, but uh, you know, unfortunately, he wasn't here, so I missed him. But it was all right. It was, I mean, it was the service was nothing to write home to mom about. But uh, you know, it was all right. But if you um, like I said, if you're into end times prophecy and that kind of stuff, or curious about it, check out this church in Chino Hills. Check out Pastor Jack Hibbs online. And uh, give that a try. It's fascinating stuff, folks. So because this is a Sunday, and I'm born again, I might be a little bit more preachy than I normally am. And if you don't like it, I'm sorry. Just shut up and listen. It'll do you good. I'm not here to offend anybody, but then again, nobody's detained on this channel. You're free to come and go as you please. So, if my being a little bit too preachy bothers you, uh, sorry, not sorry. This is my Sunday sermon. I think I'm going to kind of do that now. I'm going to kind of, I'm going to try my best 
to be a little less preachy on my regular audits and maybe be a little bit more preachy on my Sunday services than I normally am. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Hi. Hi. What's going Hi. on, man? Not much. Oh, here. Got there my walker. Go. No problem. Try to steal my walker. No problem. How can I help you today, sir? With what? Do I have uh, a... Are you authorized by the church to uh, record? Do I need to be authorized by the church well, to record? Well, this is private property, sir. What does it have to do with anything? Well, this is private property. You need permission from the church in order to record. Says who? Extreme to HOS, you get a copy. All right, so I'm going to continue on because I don't even know what this dude's talking about. He's telling me I need permission from the church to record, but I mean, this is a church. It's open to the public. He, they try to steal my walker again. It's open Extreme to the public. To HOS, I mean, there's literally. How many people are here? Th there's literally thousands of people here. And I need permission from the church to record. And if I'm not mistaken, this church broadcasts all their sermons online. It's not like there's you know, top secret activity going on here. I think this guy's name is Richard. He's private security. He's not peace officer. And uh, he's telling me I need permission from the church to record. I don't know if I believe that. I don't know if... Uh, I don't know if that's actually a standing order or a standing directive from the church or if this private security officer is just pulling out of a hat like Felix the Cat. I don't, I don't really know. I mean, if the church has a standing order that you're not allowed to film here without prior permission, then okay. But I'm pretty sure that the last time I was here, I, heard, I saw several people inside the auditorium with their phones up recording. And I don't remember anybody being approached by security inside the auditorium and being told that they need permission to film. So I don't understand. I mean, do I have something on my shirt that says that I'm different from everybody else? Because I don't understand what the difference between me filming is and all of the people that I saw filming inside of the auditorium is. And again, I don't remember anybody being approached inside by security and being told that they need permission from the church to film. So I, I, I guess what I'd like somebody to do is explain to me what the difference between me is and anybody else. I'm sorry? I'm getting you somebody. Oh, okay, Richard. Thank you. I appreciate that. I wasn't talking to you. I'm narrating into the camera, just so you know. So, yeah, that's a point of confusion on my part. Um... I mean, when you get into arbitrary enforcement of, of rules that may or may not exist, that just don't make, you know, logical sense on the surface, when you get into those, that arbitrary enforcement, I mean, I think that there's a, a little bit of a problem there. Don't we become respecters of persons at that point? I mean, aren't we being a little bit judgmental at that point? I mean, is he, is he, is he picking on me for a particular reason? So I'm not detained. Uh, uh, I'm going to continue what I'm doing. Richard can call somebody from the church doing? if he wants to. I, are you busy? I just want to say hi real quick. So, like I was saying, uh, if you're into end times eschatology and you're into that sort of thing, Jack Hibbs is an awesome pastor. This is kind of a kind of the place that you want to come to. Uh, he hasn't said anything that I particularly disagree with. And I've forewarned everybody here before that I'm a born-again Christian that beats to the, uh, that marches to the beat of my own drum. And I, I, I know that I don't believe in a lot of things that my brothers and sisters believe in. I believe that there's a lot of false doctrine going on around the church. Um, and I'm going to do the best job that I can to uh, point out that false doctrine and the number one false doctrine that I'm here to point out is uh, blue line idolatry. How many people at this church knowingly, unknowingly, intentionally or unintentionally are guilty of blue line idolatry? I'm going to say that there's lots. I'm going to say that there's lots. So it looks like uh, that up there is where they have additional classrooms and stuff for more teaching of the Word of God outside of the main service. I didn't see the sign here yet, but I believe that I read online that there is a service as late as noon here. And I don't know if Pastor Hibbs teaches all of the services here. 
all three in a row or if he just teaches some of them. But uh, does seem like a, a little bit of an oddity here. Um, so we'll just kind of see how this plays out. I have not been asked to leave by anybody, but not been told to stop filming by anybody. Uh, as far as I know, just based on what I see here, when when I what I what I what I have seen here, when I attended this church, there were several people filming in the in the auditorium, and not one single person person was approached and asked if they had permission from the church to film. So, why I was approached within seconds of arriving here? Um, I'm really not sure uh, why uh, security guard Richard is, I don't know, he's kind of, it just kind of seems like he's uh, making maybe a bigger deal than he needs to make out of it, and I don't know why. But um, maybe I'm perceived as a threat? I'm not sure. But anyways, I'm going to have a seat here behind this sign so that I'm, I'm, I'm sitting, let me show you here. I'm sitting next to a sign, so I'm not going to block anybody's path. I'm, not, I'm going to park it right here, and I'm not going to block anybody's travel. Uh, and I am disabled, which is why I'm sitting. And... Um, We're just going to continue to document. I might ask if I can go inside and show the inside of the church. Uh, or I might just walk in and show the inside of the church. I'm not sure. We'll see uh, what I decide to do. But... Let's just... Uh, let me just sit here for a second and collect my thoughts for a moment. Uh, it seems like uh, they're involved in some heavy, uh, heavy debate. Let me go. Let me go see if they. Let me go see if they tell the truth or if they lie. Excuse me, gentlemen. Are you guys having a conversation Sir, about? Do you know that this is private property? Uh, I are know you that, aware that this is private property? I understand this is a church. This and is it's private and it, property, yeah. sir. Oh, so you're not going to let me talk? You're just going to talk over me? So I'm going to ask you right now that you would just go out those gates because this is private property. Oh, okay. And who are you? I'm going to ask you to go off the grounds Nine. because this is private property. Okay. And I'm going to ask you who are you because I don't know who you are or if you're in a position of authority to ask me to go off the grounds. Richard could ask me because he's in full uniform and I'll do what Richard says. But if you don't want to identify yourself, okay. then why don't you have Richard ask me? All right, sir. Then we are asking you to go ahead and please vacate the property to okay. the area Okay. Thank there. you. And for filming, I'm assuming. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much, Richard. So, Calvary Chapel, Chino Hills, uh, apparently they're not interested in people's salvation here. They're interested in arbitrary rules um, to enforce. And uh, if you're a born-again Christian and you have uh, any sort of common sense or any, any, any sort of uh, ability to ration, ration or reason at all, that goes against the, every tenet of Christianity that there is, unless, of course, you're a Blue Line worshiper. So I'm going to say that Richard, on, at, the, uh, at the behest of Calvary Chapel, Chino Hills, and with the... Uh, permission and uh, at the direction of Pastor Jack Hibbs has asked me to uh, leave, 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 leave the property. I'm not doing anything other than anybody else is doing. Do not lie. Do not bear false witness against me and do not lie. There are plenty of people having a conversation here and I'm having a conversation into my camera. If anybody is causing a disturbance here, it's you on my heels following me off the property, which I'm clearly doing. I'm clearly leaving. So if anybody here is causing a disturbance, it's you three, not me. You stay there, and I'll continue to narrate into my camera, and I'll continue to leave the property, and there'll be less of a disturbance. How about that? What does that mean? Hey, lady, 
Jesus Christ is Lord. Read a Bible and stop being an idolater. Read your Bible. And if you can't figure out what you're doing wrong, read it again. And if you still can't figure out what you're doing wrong, read it again. And if you don't like me talking to you, shut your mouth and don't talk to me. Thank you very much, ma'am. Jesus Christ is Lord. And you ought to be ashamed of yourself. And I don't know who gave you the authority, Richard, to kick me off of this property, but you ought to be ashamed of yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Excuse me, sir. And you're a bad witness. Excuse me. Uh, yeah. Left or right, Richard? Uh, I'm uh, walking okay, backwards. You awesome, thank you. You figure out a way how to go around me. I, how about that? You were right in the middle, sir. Yeah. Come on, family, let's go. All right. So I'm going to stop and let these people pass. Thank you for your kindness. All right, you're welcome, sir. I appreciate it. Apparently, that gentleman was inconvenienced because he had to walk a little slower behind a disabled person. So, uh, we don't want to... We don't want to inconvenience the man with the bird, the man with the beard, because he had to walk a little bit slower behind a disabled person. God forbid I cause him any kind of inconvenience, but that's all right. Maybe they'll walk a little bit too slow for me on the sideway, on the sidewalk, and I'll ask him, sir, can you please step aside? I'd like to pass you. Sure. Okay. Fair enough. So I'm on a public sidewalk. I'm exercising my First Amendment right to freedom of religion. I'm confused because I like Pastor Hibbs and I don't think that I have ever heard Pastor Hibbs give any false doctrine in any of the messages that I've ever heard him preach. I don't remember any false doctrine ever coming out of Pastor Hibbs' mouth. So it's unfortunate that this church has decided to, uh, to kick me off the property for some sort of uh, uh, unapparent reason. I understand. I have a First Amendment right to freedom of speech. I have a First Amendment right to freedom of religion. And I have a First Amendment right to freedom of press. But by no means do I think that that gives me the right to go onto private property and say, and yell at the top of my voice and say, hey, you know, I'm exercising the First Amendment. Yeah. That's not what happened. That's not what I did. What did the church do to the Christians, okay, when they couldn't find anything to arrest the early Christians for? They got together and they tried to devise a plan to find a reason to put them behind bars. Yeah. Okay. That's what's happening today. I mean, that's what happened to Jesus. It exactly. Wrong, and it they didn't. They just worked around the law and figured a way to. You know, yes, and not make. just to Jesus, to almost all of the apostles that occurred to. It happened to Paul. Okay. And it's happening today, but unfortunately. Um, the church doesn't see it happening today. And I'm going to tell you that that's idolatry. When you refuse to see the truth, because you say a man that wears a, that has a shiny gold badge and a clean uniform, okay, and it's a member of a specific profession, is incapable of having a bad heart, that's idolatry. Well, personally, myself, I wouldn't say that I believe that every cop is, uh, well, I don't want to say perfect, but just good. Um, I acknowledge there are cops who shouldn't be on the force, and I'll do anything anybody wants me to to work against getting more people like that and getting those people out. But in general, I still believe the police are a good thing, and I will assume that a cop is good until further evidence has been brought to me that he's bad. That's biblical. Oh, okay. You're supposed to. That's biblical. You're supposed to give people the benefit of the doubt. Cool. Because that's what love is. Until given further evidence that yeah. cops are good. Well, I believe I have that further evidence. And what would you say if I told you that I believe that it's not a few bad apples, that I believe that the entire tree is rotten from the root? I... The whole system you is rotten from the root. Because I know police officers. That's right. And so I know for a fact that there are at least some that are not rotten. That's true. That's true. That is absolutely true. There are some good cops out there. Now see, here's the thing I want to talk about is that when you say the system, are you referring to the actual police officers themselves or the 
uh, not the, 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 the system, the way things work. I'm talking about... Because if you want to talk about the system, we can talk about the system, how bad the system is all day. That's fine. But when you say system as the people themselves that work for it, that's where I can kind of debate and say, well, actually, I think those people are good. Are you familiar with the criminal justice system at all? Sort of. Like jail? Yeah. Okay. So in jail, you can't be a rat, right? What? In jail, you can't be a rat. A rat. A snitch. Oh, yeah. You can't be a snitch because if you're a snitch in jail, you're going to get it. Yeah. Same thing as in law enforcement. Exact same thing. You can't be a snitch in law enforcement. If you witness, if you're a law enforcement officer and you witness your fellow officer doing something unlawful or violating somebody else's rights and you snitch, you don't have it. You're done. Yeah. You're out. That's a system. That's the system that they work within. Why do you think that so many police officers lie in their reports? And even if you have the best intentioned Let's say you have the born-again police officer who has the best intentions. He has a good heart. He has a really good heart. He serves the Lord Jesus Christ with all of his heart, mind, soul, and strength. Okay? And he gets into that system. The best that he can hope for is to lie and say that he did not see something that he actually saw. That's the best case scenario. That's the best lie that he can tell. Because if he tells the truth in that system, he's not going to make it. Yeah. He's not going to make it. You're not going to be a law enforcement officer. So what does that do? That weeds out all the good cops and it leaves all of the bad cops. And that's part of why I do what I do. Part of my mission, my mission in my show is transparency, accountability, and reform. I film for transparency so that I can show people what's actually occurring, okay? I hold officers and police departments accountable for their bad actions because without accountability, you can't get any reform. When, when, when California closed down all of the churches because of coronavirus, this man stood up and resisted against it. This man resisted those unlawful orders. He's a hero in my book. He's a hero in my mind. But somehow... Uh, uh, somehow filming in public uh, somebody documenting the goings on at the church um, somehow they have to be escorted off of the property and followed by three of your security officers and escorted off the property like they're a common criminal somehow I have to be humiliated like like I've done something like I've, I've committed some sort of a crime and three security officers armed security officers I'm assuming I saw one with a firearm they have to escort me off the property in front of all of the people here like as if I'm some sort of a common criminal when you're done kicking me out of your church parking lot for exercising my First Amendment right to document matters of public interest they're coming after you pastor Hibbs they're coming after the church and you know what's gonna happen then you're gonna long for me you're gonna wish that I was here with my camera documenting your rights, your freedom of religion being violated by the government. Okay? The devil walks about as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Who does that sound like to you? To me, it sounds like a lot of modern day law enforcement. To me, personally. I can agree with that. Okay, so modern day law enforcement is not walking about seeking whom they can lift up. I've been locked up by a church that lied and it was a Calvary chapel. And I'm going to tell you, it's Calvary Chapel in Hesperia. The, the, the clergy from the church lied and said that I was disturbing the peace on their property, and they got me locked up. What does the Bible say? Of Calvary Chapel in Hesperia, California. They, they lied, and they said that I was disturbing the peace. Okay? I was not disturbing the peace. We're a nation of laws. We're not a nation of men. We're not a nation of people's feelings. We're not a nation of what people want. We're a nation, we're governed by laws. So when I go to a place, I make sure that I don't violate a law because I'm accountable to the law, right? Isn't everybody? Yes. If I come here and I break a law, then I'm accountable to the law. Isn't that biblical? Yeah. That's biblical. Yeah. They called a man with a gun to lock me up and put me in a concrete cell. They, they took me away from my home, from my family, from my wife and my children and my grandchildren, and they put me in a cage. Um, gee, where have I read things like that before? Uh, and then my... I think, I think you've got a case. Well, I don't know if you want to shake hands. It's nice sure, to you. absolutely. My name is also Born Again, I guess. Yeah, you're so. Born Again too. Yeah. It's great meeting you. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me. I might have actually captured a real life Born Again Christian on my camera. Is that possible? Are there real life Born Again Christians in the world?
I might have got one just now. Hi. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves me. I know he does. For the Bible tells me so. So apparently the clergy from this church, they think that they're God. And you're not allowed to speak to them. Because if you do, uh, you're going to get kicked off the property. And um, the only thing that they didn't say is we're kicking you off the property in Jesus' name. Pastor Hibbs. If you personally want to email me and apologize to me for your behavior at your church today, or for, for their behavior at your church today, uh, I'll forgive you. So what do you think, guys? Do you think it was a matter of, uh, <clears throat> a matter of national security, a matter of life and death, or do you think that they discussed amongst themselves that, uh, that I walked away from the, uh, the security guard? And uh, that had something to do with their decision to kick me off of uh, their church property in Jesus' name. Walking around behind me. He's acting like a weirdo. It's a creep with a Bible in his hand. Hey, are you being weird in Jesus' name or are you just doing it on your own? You don't have to be a star, baby, to be in my show. Morning, Morning. or afternoon or something like that. <laughs> so I get it. I get that uh, they have every right, every legal right to ask me to leave the property. But um, was it Christ-like? To put their security dogs on me and ask me to get off the property. What if you don't worship Jesus? Hi, how you doing? Hey, is um, do you know people who don't worship Jesus Christ can come to this church, or do you have to worship Christ in order to come here? So you can be a you can be a sinner and come here. I'm a sinner. I'm coming here. Okay, I was. I was kind of confused on that because they kicked me off of the property, so it kind of confused me. I, I, no, no, no. Uh, unless you're trying to, you know, do something that would be hard for us. I was doing what you see right now uh, is exactly what I was doing. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's pretty right there. Yeah. But hey, God bless you today, brother. Thank you. Take care. You so what was accomplished by kicking me off of the property? Just throwing that question out there the guy said do you understand this is private property if you're uh yeah i understand it's private property open to the public and it's a church and everyone is welcome because you have signs at every single entrance that says welcome and nothing on those signs says you're welcome unless you have a camera and you're filming so um yeah i understand it's private property but what did you accomplish i'm just throwing that out there i came a friend and you tried to make an enemy out of me you didn't I got the stare down from the stink eye from this guy right here. He's the tough one. How many people have passed me? Like literally like, uh, literally like 50 people have passed me and there's the tough one right there. The tough one that's gonna give me the stink eye. It's the tough guy with the stink eye. Yeah, so here comes my, my buddy. Yeah. Now don't make me take back what I said about you. I already gave you the benefit of the doubt and said you were a you, you were a good guy. Don't make me take it back. Thank you. Thank you for that. We love you too. Huh? What are you doing? I'm not disclosing what I'm doing publicly. Why not? Because it's need to know, and you don't need what, to know. Video of people? Yes. Do you think I can just do that publicly and not say nothing? It just depends. It depends on what. It depends on who's you're asking. Taping everybody walking by, yeah. but you're not why don't you? Why don't you relax? You put me on all day long. Good. Why don't you no, relax? relax. I, I don't appreciate relaxed. the tone that I you're talking relaxed. to me. You know you're not. I don't appreciate you're your tone. Clearly, you're trying to I don't appreciate your tone. You're clearly you're trying, trying to instigate me place. with your tone. You're clearly I'm trying to instigate me. Yes, you are. The tone that you use with me, you're clearly trying to instigate me. I'm just letting know you're being Get away from me! Don't be walking up on me. Don't worry about it. Don't be trying to instigate me and then accuse me of trying to instigate you. How many people here that I talk to and instigate, and then this clown wants to walk up to me and tell me that I'm instigating him I didn't talk to anybody here I didn't instigate anybody here that clown wants to walk up and instigate me and then accuse me of instigating 
Get out of here, you fool. I don't like that. I don't like when people come up, okay, and instigate me and then try and accuse me of instigating. I don't like it. it bothers me. I take all, you know what? A lady came up, gave me a hug. I take all prayers and all hugs, unlimited. Awesome. Okay, well, I'll give you a hug too. Oh my goodness. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? So just at a, on, a, on, a, on a separate issue, um, you're famous lady. So just on, on a separate issue, I don't think that it's beneficial to come out and argue doctrine with people. Um, you know, it's, I just don't think it's, uh, I don't think it's beneficial. I mean, with, I'm talking about if you have a relationship with somebody and you're in a relationship with somebody and you want to argue doctrine, you know, with friends and family members and things like that, okay, that's fine. But I don't think that you're going to really resolve anything coming out and arguing doctrine with, with strangers. I just don't think that that's the proper forum um, to do it. I mean, sure, that's fine. You, you go, God bless you. You go ahead, you speak the truth, you speak the truth in love, and then if somebody doesn't agree with you, you don't need to argue the point with them. You can just, you can just put it in God's hands. Just for the record, I didn't approach anybody and try to argue doctrine with them. The only doctrine that I tried to argue today was in response to people approaching me. How you doing there? I'm good, how are you? All right, what's up? What's going on, man? Oh, praising the Lord. Hallelujah. I wish everybody praised the Lord. Yes. The Lord is worthy with the radio. Whoa, there's extreme. Where's extreme going? Let me go get extreme. Get extreme now dot com. They were pretty extreme. You ask me. What's this all about? Huh? What's that? What's this all about? Oh, I'm filming the church. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. That's what God said. He said, good job. Right before he sent. Right before he sent me here. Right before what? Right before he sent me here. Gotcha, buddy. Yeah. I think you're a little bit disingenuous, but I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I don't know what's in your heart, dude, but I, I think you're a little bit disingenuous. It's all right, though. I don't hate you. That guy's got a drone. I want a drone. I like the drone. You too. Thank you. Sweet little kid. Hello. Hi. Good. How are you? Good. 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 So let me talk about how I react um, to certain people. No, you know what? I, I'm not even talking talk about it. Okay, I will. You know, I, I react that way to certain people because I think that certain people are bullies. Okay? And I believe that they bully people that they think that they can get away with bullying. And I definitely think that somebody who appears to be... Uh, um, disabled, uh, sitting in a walker. I, I think that I'm an easy target for bullying um, for people that are of that, uh, that, that like to bully. So I, I, I challenge people that try to bully me because um, it's, it's check, I, and putting them in check. I need to check them. I feel like I need to check them and I feel like I want to check them. They need to get checked, okay? Dude walking by, giving me the stink eye, he needs to get checked. And, you know, don't give me the stink eye when you walk by me. You can. I'm not calling the cops on you. I'm not trying to put you in jail. I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm not trying to get physical with you. 
I'm not going to go throw a five gallon bucket of water on you. I'm not going to bear spray you. I'm not going to point a firearm at you, but I'm going to check you. And how many people walk past me with indifference? 99.9% .9 of the people here. And then one dude walks by and, and he feels compelled to give me the stink eye. You're going to try and punk me by giving me the stink eye, I'm going to check you. That's it. That's all there is to it. I call out people when they're rude. I call out people when they're bullies. I call out people when they're obnoxious. I call them out. I check them. Look at that. My wife just sent me a text and it says, I love you. See? Somebody loves me. Look at that guy. He was just waiting for a ride. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Look at There goes extreme security. 1-877-929-5532. Extreme security. She knows. There's Chino PD. Um, Calvary Chapel, Chino Hills, can I use your restroom? There's a hand to hand. Um, I don't know what was just exchanged there. Uh, I don't know if drugs just changed hands there or if, um, if money changed hands there, in other words, uh, a fee for for special services, I don't know. I don't know what just transpired there, but it looks suspicious to me. It was a, definitely a hand-to-hand -hand that occurred there. And another Chino Hills. So am I wrong again? How many times? Can I possibly be wrong? I just said that these guys didn't call law enforcement. And how many times can I possibly be wrong? And how pathetic can you be? Are you going to lie? Like the other church did? Are you going to lie? Hang on, I'm going to stop this and go live. Hey guys, this is Sheep Show. I'm born again. I'm, um, I'm here at a church. And I've been recording static uh, for the past, for over three hours here. Just gathering content and documenting uh, matters of public interest here. And I just, uh gave them a uh, credit for not calling the police and then sure enough Chino uh, PD shows up two units so I'm just going live for my own protection I'm sorry if this turns into a, a great big nothing but I, I want to make sure that um, the record is preserved I want to make sure that if anything happens that the record uh, doesn't get deleted and that uh, if things do go south and I do end up getting arrested that, uh, you know, that my footage is not stolen from me. So, you know, I apologize for going live if this is a big, uh, 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 
a big goose egg, but I just want to make sure uh, every time I give a person, place, or thing credit for 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 not uh, for not acting Tom foolishly, and um, then this happens. So I don't know if the police are here for me. They have not contacted me yet. They just pulled in. But we're just going to have to see if they make contact. It appears that they're not going to make contact, which is a good thing. And I apologize for going live for a big fat nothing. But if, if it turns out to be, I'd rather be live uh, and it to be nothing than um, for me not to go live and have it uh, turn out to be uh, that my uh all of my footage was uh deleted or stolen from me and i came here a supporter of this church and a supporter of pastor jack hibbs but i'm telling you right now pastor jack hibbs if you support your people calling the police on somebody exercising their freedom of speech i got a problem with you pastor jack anyways uh chino's gone Looks like security's leaving. When it comes to issues of freedom, please don't be a sheep. Please be a patriot. Anyways. I don't think we got anything else for you here. This is Sheep Show. I'm born again. Jesus Christ is Lord. I'm out.